Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Hebrew Hammer from SavageGamers.com and look who I stumbled across at retail today. GameStop. This is DualShock 4 for the PlayStation 4. But did you know you can actually use your PlayStation 4 controller for PS3 games running on a PlayStation 3? It's pretty cool. I didn't know that until a couple days ago actually. But somebody on NeoGAF asked this and they were curious how the share and options button on the DualShock 4 work. Uh, as compared to the select and start buttons on a DualShock 3, which is a good point because games like The Last of Us, my 2013 game of the year by the way, uses a select button to jump into your backpack when you're in single player, multiplayer, you know how it works because I'm sure everybody's played The Last of Us who is watching this, it's the best game ever. So I thought I'd make a really quick video to show you guys how the DualShock 4 and the DualShock 3 compare when playing uh, The Last of Us, for example. So let's go ahead and jump into a multiplayer game and uh, see how they compare. Okay, so here we are in game. Uh, pretty much everything is the same, really. You can move around with the left analog stick. You can aim with the right. L2 lets you sprint. L1 lets you aim, R1 lets you shoot, and then R2, I forgot what, oh, R2 is to look around if you're one of those little cheaters. But here's where it gets interesting. A lot of people were curious if the share button would bring up the select menu. So in The Last of Us, if you press share, it brings up your backpack just as it normally would. If you bring up options, that's basically the start menu on the DualShock 3. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty much everything works. I just got killed. That's kind of disappointing because I was AFK. But here's the weird thing, actually. If you, this is the only thing that I've noticed that is different. Thanks a lot. So if you use the PlayStation button here, if you tap it, if you hold it, whatever you do, it does not bring you to the PlayStation's cross media bar on the PS3, which is, it's peculiar. It's kind of odd. So that is the only, as far as I'm concerned, after about an hour of playing this game, that is the only thing that I have noticed that is omitted from the DualShock 4 when playing a PS3 game is if you use the PlayStation button. So, if you don't mind never accessing the cross media bar on your PS3 with the DualShock 4, then I would I would totally suggest going ahead and buying one of these because those R2 and L2s are just too good to pass up. So now that I've shown you everything and the score is 14 to 20, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into the game. But you know what? I'm going to show you. We're going to make history right here. The first time anybody's killed someone with a DualShock 4 in The Last of Us. I think... Oh, shit. All right. Well, you get the point.